Harvey Lee Sidwell. Welcome to my uh, studio kitchen here in the Lake District. Now, November is tomorrow, and I, let me tell you, it is well and truly hit. Autumn, it's a beautiful time of year, um, but it screams comfort, warmth, and richness for me. Now, I wanted to share with you uh, a dish that, for me, is just the ultimate in Italian rich comfort. Um, I want to change the way that you make bolognese. Um, and for me, this is not only economical, but absolutely delicious. And it's one of those dishes that takes a little bit of time to cook, so it'll cook nice and slowly for sort of four or five hours in, the, in my oven here, but you could cook in a slow cooker, no problem, while you're at work. Right, so I'm gonna preheat this pan, get it really, really nice and hot, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use. Now, ox cheek. This is not a cut of beef that you would normally get in a supermarket. In a supermarket. You are gonna have, have, have to ask butcher your butcher for it. For it. But, that's, but okay. that's okay. Make sure you let him know he wants it, and he'll save and it for you. And it is just two very simple cuts, and all we're gonna do is season them up really heavily. So, plenty of salt. Plenty of salt. Plenty of black pepper. Don't be shy, Don't be shy with this. Important. You give it loads of seasoning, and then we'll just put a little bit of oil, 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 oil on, on the, the, actual, the meat. actual meat. Not in the Not pan. In the pan. Okay. okay. Right. So I'm going to put these straight, straight in the pan. pan. Nice hot pan. pan. Exactly, exactly what we want, want. and do not, not touch it, it. Okay. okay. Really important. Really what we almost want to do is kind of overcook it and really want bags and bags of colour on this, yeah? Because we're then going to hydrate it with loads of tomatoes, loads of red wine and stock, and it's all just going to come together beautifully, I promise you. Okay, while that's cooking, let's get some rosemary. Beautiful aromatics, loads of flavour, all good, awesome. Wind beautiful yeah. aromatics, kind of slow flavour, all good autumn. Okay, so let's just chop these just up. Chop these up. Oh, those oh, those oh, those those so good. They just lift dishes. Okay. okay. And then straighten the pan, the pan on top of the, the beef. That's, that's, that's it. it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Right. Vegetables, okay, so we want lots, lots of lovely, lovely veggies. veggies just to, just to kind of give it a whole big, big depth, depth of flavour, flavour okay? okay? So, so celery, celery, just chop up into tiny little pieces. We want it quite small, I think it's nicer when it's chopped up nice and small. And small. Then we want an onion, so chop it in half, and then just finely dice. Again, nice and thinly chopped. Take your time, grate them if you can't use a knife. Into matchsticks, gather them all together, and then chop again. These veggies are just gonna give it a really lovely richness to the dish and all come yeah, they're together. Good. All, all good, good slow, slow cooked cook dishes, dishes have a have good, good solid, solid base, base of vegetables, vegetables to give sweetness, sweetness round the flavour. You know, good for you, lots more goodness in there. Okay. Two. There's my Two. celery, onions and carrots. There's my now I'm gonna add a little bit of fennel. A little touch, touch of aniseed just works, works really, really, really well, well with beef. beef. Not, Not a full bowl, full. just going to use half. And we're going to add that in. So, take the stalks, chop them down the middle. And then, and then gather, gather them up, up. Nice, nice and fine, fine and, and just, just chop them all up. And what you'll get is that lovely fragrant aniseed flavour. It works really well 
with beef and it works well with red wine. So, just like an onion, chop of fennel, nice and fine. So you can see I haven't touched that bit. I really, really can't stress enough that you want to sort of just don't touch it. Just really let it caramelise. Right, I'm going to turn this over now. Well, there you go. Starting to caramelise. And then what I'm going to do is move those over and get all the veggies in now. So, here we go. Celery, onion, carrots, fennel. Loads and loads of flavour in there. Just kind of lift so all those veggies in there. the meat off the pan kind of and lift. sit it on top of the veggies. The meat off the That's pan it. and sit so we've got it on top of the veggies. That's it. So we've got that nice bed of vegetables there. Beautiful. Okay. Garlic. One bowl. One dish. So we're so we just cut that in half. half. And, and I'm going to sit, sit that straight in the pan, in the pan there. there. I'm going to pop those, those in as well, well and I'll push them out later. later. No Okay, one star anise. This again gives a really incredible flavour. Really brings the beefiness, out the beefiness in, all this. in all this. So just take so one, just take star, one there. star there. That is all we that need. All we need. Drop, that in. drop that in. We'll fish that we'll out, fish that as, out well. later as well. Okay, so some beautiful chopped tomatoes. Two pouches. Two cartons later as well. Good red wine, okay? So in with, in with Duck Shy, Duck Shy. A couple of glasses, of, glasses of, red of red wine. Here we go. There we go. Oh, smells amazing already. Really, really does. Now you can turn the pan right up. Okay. In with our chopped tomatoes. Okay. okay. There's one. There's one. There's another. another. And then I have got some beef stock here. What I am going to do, do is just, just pour, pour some, of some of that in. Probably, Probably about, about a pint's, pint's worth. worth. And then I'll, and then keep, then I'll the keep the other pint. pint. I'll, I'll maybe top it, top it up later if it needs it. it. There, we, there go. we go. If you haven't got a pot like this and you've got a slow cooker at home, just pop it all in the slow cooker. Put it on a medium heat and go to work for six, eight hours. Come back and it will be absolutely beautiful. So our ox cheek has cooked for six hours here now. Let's have a little look. Oh, smells amazing, let me tell you. What I've also got is I've got some pasta cooking in some salted boiling water already. So let's, let's have a look. <gasps> Oh, that smells incredible. Okay, so what you can see is there is our ox cheek. Beautifully tender, and look at that. All I'm gonna do with my spoon and my finger, look, it just breaks up so easily. So look, all we're gonna do, there is my garlic. So we'll lift that out. Just put that to one side. Do the same, get the skin off here. So I just chuck the garlic in, and all the skins now are just falling straight off, which is brill, exactly what I want. And then just look at this option. It, it doesn't look like a lot of meat, but it's, but it's incredibly, incredibly rich. rich. And look, look it, just it just falls apart, apart like that. Okay? okay. So all, all I'm gonna I'm do, do is just use, use my spoon, spoon and break, break the meat, meat up. up. Okay. okay. There we, there we go. go. And all those, all those lovely, lovely veg vegetables are all cooked down and soft and rich. I'm going to squeeze that garlic in a minute. I'll let you just move that out of the way. So, what I'm going to do is, I've got my pasta here. This is cooked. I'm going to take the ragu, okay? And let's just get the pan on here. Because I've got more than we need yeah. here. So, let's so put let's a pan, pan on. on. And we're going to pull, we're going to pull this, whole this whole dish, whole dish together. together. So, so just, just mix together all that beautiful, rich ragu, ragu, all the vegetables, and this amazing ox cheek. Oh, looks so good. Okay. 
Look and then at that. Beautiful. So I've got my garlic here, okay? All I'm going to carefully do is carefully squeeze, squeeze all that lovely slow-cooked slow garlic. Slow cooked garlic. That's been in the oven for six hours. Oh, oh it smells so good. Right. So you can see there, look. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful ragu. Beautiful ragu. All I am going to do is grab myself a ladle. I've got a big pan here. So, so take, take some, some of the ragu. In. There we go. Pop, Pop that, that in. Turn that heat right up. Okay. In with the ragu. Make sure you get plenty of those veggies. These two ox cheeks that I put in here will easily serve eight people. There is a ton of meat here, loads of vegetables, loads of sauce. So, so I'm, I'm just going to pop, pop that, that into there. there. I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to put the rest of it in a bag. I'm going to pop it in the freezer for a rainy day. So it's perfect for that. Let's pop that there. All I'm going to do is liven up this. I'm going to add a touch of butter. Which I think makes all, all the difference, difference to a sauce, sauce particularly, particularly like this. Like it. It's just, just a little a bit, bit of butter right, right at the end. Yeah. Okay, pop the butter, pop in, the butter there. in there. And what I'm also and gonna, I'm also do, gonna do is take a little, take a little bit, of bit of the water from the pasta. From the pasta. Okay. okay. Maybe two ladles. Maybe two ladle. Okay. Let that butter, Let that just, butter just melt. melt. In and it kind in of and lightens, it kind of lightens the sauce a little, sauce a little bit. It makes it incredible. I don't know what it does. I don't know what the technical term is. I wish I did, but it just makes it yummy. Super retro spaghetti now, dish I've got from a when. Super retro spaghetti dish from when I was a kid. This is probably 30 odd years old, this bowl, and I love it. Okay? It's tacky, it's retro, it's 80s, and I love it. Look, spaghetti look dish from when. There. So all I'm going to do now. Is just lift my spaghetti out. Always spaghetti into, into sauce. sauce. Okay. okay. Always. Always. Not, Not the other way around. Let all those little bits of starchy water into there. That's it. Any little bits that have run off. There we go. Perfect. Well, let's so let's give this a little, this a little stir, stir around. around. This is serious. Okay, this is serious pasta now, guys. Okay, okay. lovely. lovely. Just, just gonna, gonna turn, turn that down. down. So, so all the pasta, pasta is just kind of soaking up the sauce. The sauce. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, what I am gonna do is take some of this wonderful Greek basil. Picked it up in booze this morning. Oh, I love it, it's amazing. Amazing, and then just give it a, nice, then just give it a nice little chop. Not too much. Not too much. It's this tiny little Greek, Greek basil leaves. Okay. Okay. Half of it. Half in of there. it in there. And I'm going to save. The and I'm going to save the half to top it up. Oh, this is a serious spaghetti bolognese. Okay. Right. Let's serve this up. Okay. Right. Serve this up. Okay. Beautiful. <gasps> Beautiful. Make sure I get some of those lovely chunks of meat. Amazing. Make sure I get some of those lovely chunks of meat. Cannot wait to tuck into this one. Cannot. Okay, beautiful. And then you're going to sprinkle, sprinkle it with that last, last little, little bit of Greek, Greek basil there. Just, just to liven it all up. And then I've got Filippo Barro olive oil, a beautiful Tuscan olive oil. Wait to try this. This is an eating olive oil, this is not a cooking one. Okay, so I've not used it in the dish. All I'm going to use it for is to finish the dish. Use it for is to finish so the dish. A little bit of oil on the top. So there, a little like bit that. of oil on the top there, like and that. That. And is that. My ox cheek ragu with fresh pasta, and it's topped with Greek basil and Tuscan olive oil. Please give this a try. It will change your world to making bolognese. No more 500 grams of minced beef. Slow cooked ox cheek, six hours, red wine, tin tomatoes, low veggies, happy days.